Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jen from Kemgush.com and welcome to Basic Grammar News Book, 2nd Edition by Raymond Murphy with William R. Smalzer. Today, we will discuss a lesson and here on Unit 1 of our book, we will discuss about these verbs am is are am is are now let's go on and discuss letter a you can see a girl here she's pretty her name is lisa now let's read her sentences my name is lisa my name is lisa I'm American. I'm American. I'm from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. I'm a student. I'm a student. My father is a doctor. And my mother is a journalist. My father is a doctor. And my mother is a journalist. I'm 22. I'm 22. I'm not married. I'm not married. My favorite color is blue. My favorite color is blue. My favorite sports are tennis and swimming. My favorite sports are tennis and swimming. I'm interested in art. I'm interested in art. Very good students. As you can see, those are the sentences of Lisa. And as you have noticed, Lisa used these be verbs in all of her sentences. Now, let's have a more closer look at our be verbs. We have what we call positive and negative. Of course, when you say positive, it's like yes or it's true. Let's read the following. I am. Remember that I am or am is always with the pronoun I. And we can say I'm for short. He is. She is. It is. For these three pronouns, we use the word or verb is. For short, he's, she's, it. Last one. We are. You are. They are. For all of these pronouns, we use are. And uh, for short, we can say where, your, and there. Now let's go on to the negative. As for the negative, we just have to add this word, not. It's just the same with the positive, but adding the word not makes your sentences negative. Let's read the following. I am not. I'm not. He's not. He's not. He isn't. She is not. She's not. Or she isn't. It is not. It's not. Or it isn't. We are not. We're not. Or we aren't. You are not. You're not. Or you aren't. They are not. They're not or they aren't. Very good students. Now, we have some examples here. Let's read the following sentences. I'm cold. Can you close the window, please? I'm cold. Can you close the window, please? I'm 32 years old. My sister is 29. I'm 22 years old or 32 years old. My sister is 29. My brother is very tall. 
He's a policeman. John is afraid of dogs. It's ten o'clock. You're late again. Maylan and I are good friends. Your keys are on the table. I'm tired, but I am not hungry. Tom isn't interested in politics. He's interested in music. Jessica isn't at home right now. She's at work. Those people aren't Canadian. They're Australian. It's sunny today, but it isn't warm. Very good, students. So as you can see, all those sentences used all the be verbs, and we use be verbs so that we can describe something or someone. Now let's go on to letter C. That's that is. There's there is. Here's here is. Let's read the following. Thank you. That is very kind of you. Look, there's Chris. Here's your key. Thank you. So as you can see, students, these words are words that we can also use, like our pronouns and verbs, to talk or describe something or someone, like what we have read on these sentences. So now, students, I want you to review this lesson, and please remember that we can use these verbs to talk. Or describe something or someone. Okay, so I want you to memorize all these verbs and how to use them. Also, I would like to encourage you to enroll in Camglish.com's classes because we can definitely help you improve your English skills. Now, this is the end of our lesson. I hope you learned something. This is Teacher Jen from Camglish.com. Saying goodbye and see you on our next video. Goodbye.